Hey, so over the last couple of years, I have been talking a lot about this note taking app called Rome Research. I've used it to write my PhD thesis in, all my blogs in, prepare my podcasts in. I really use it every day. It's been a complete life changer for me. And a couple of uh, people have asked me whether I wanted to record a quick video on what makes Rome so different and so great. Because when I throw around terms like it has bi-directional linking and so forth, it's not always very clear what that means. So this video is for everyone on why Rome research is the bomb. When you first start using Rome, you'll go to this daily note page and you'll see that everything is like a bulleted list. Just like, for example, workflow, which you might be familiar with. And this already shows you that it's very easy to organize information in a row. Because if I have a lot of text, I can just close this bullet and start a new thought, which already makes it better than Evernote, where you cannot do this and notes will just become a jumbled mess. Let's say I'm going to my notes on the Sapiens book. It's just incredibly big. I use this way of note taking before I have the system that I teach in my course. Here I just copied interesting passages and tagged them. This already shows you that the ability to indent blocks, just something as simple as that is so important. It makes it so much easier to stay focused on a page and you can even go in a block. So if I click it now, it seems like this block about part one is the entire page and I can even go in here. So if I only wanted to focus on this highlight of the book, I can make this its own page. And this also goes to show a different feature, which is that blocks are their own unit. So let's say I have this block in which I am mentioning the cognitive revolution, the agricultural revolution and the scientific revolution. Now, if I go to the, my page on the cognitive revolution, a page where I can just reference by doing these double brackets, I go to this page and I can see here that in the sapiens book. I'm mentioning this term, this tag, this page on the block level. This is also something that you cannot do in most other apps, where you can only say that I'm mentioning this tag, this topic on a certain page, but not have the information be as fine grained on the block level, which again, makes organizing a lot easier because if I go to an outline of a paper. I can open that in the sidebar. So Rome has this neat sidebar functionality in which I've also been doing other things. But what you can then do is you can just reference this block by copying the block reference in the paper outline. Instead of just telling yourself that there is something on this in the sapiens book that you want to mention in your outline, you can play around with information on a very deep, fine grained level. And as you can also see, there is this little one here that shows me that I'm mentioning this block on the paper outline page. So you can not only just link pages together, the cognitive revolution page and the sapiens page, which are linked together here. You can also just link blocks together. Like I'm linking this block to my paper outline here and Notice that the link is bi-directional. When I'm connecting Sapiens with Cognitive Revolution, there is a, a link on the Sapiens page, and then there's also a link created on the Cognitive Revolution page. What this means is that if I tag, for example, this chapter with the human evolution tag, it's not just that my notes on this chapter will send me to human evolution, human evolution will also send me to the sapiens chapter, which is over here. And as you can also see, there are a lot of 
other pages linking to my page on human evolution. And all this linking between pages is really a very easy way for you to seamlessly navigate or roam your graph. So you'll be on human evolution. And then you can see that I'm also mentioning that on this paper by Dan Kahan. I have a citation graph. There's a lot of other papers that come in here. And there's blog references. I wonder where they go. So I'm, I'm referencing this blog on other pages. Here you go. And it, it's this roaming that makes roam such a great tool. It creates a truly flat interlinked note-taking experience, which is just very different from file-based hierarchical structures. The key to learning Rome is just to write and connect because really what Rome does, it gives you a place to write and a place to connect what you write. So let's say I'm thinking about the, so double brackets opens all your pages. So you can search for your pages about the hard problem of consciousness and how that relates to the mind body problem on which I don't yet have a page, but just doing these double brackets, the page is created. And of course, now what has happened is that this mind body problem page will be connected to my daily notes on which I was typing. That's the bi-directional references. I've integrated my Rome database with Zotero. So it will already tell me that there's one abstract in my database that referenced this. So these are tarot integration allows you to do things uh, like this. So this is another pa paper that I've read and you can just go to the page of your paper and you can get all the references of this paper just in your Zotero or get the DOI and get them in your database. So that's another cool thing about Rome. It allows for so many cool integrations, but I'm, I'm drifting off, I'm drifting off. So here's my mind body problem page. Um, it's already linked to my daily notes page. It's also linked to the hard problem page, but notice this little button here, unlinked references. So now Rome is gonna look through my entire database for any mention of this term and see whether I have mentioned this term in other blocks. And I have, so, cause I have a, a claim that I'm defending here. So it's in Dutch, which says that we do not know yet how physiological interactions, ground, mental experiences. This is just the stuff that I'm dealing with as a philosopher for, for a lecture that I have to give uh, tomorrow, actually. So every time you create a page, which is as easy as just typing double brackets and typing something, whatever you want, you will have all the mentions of that page in your entire graph automatically connected to that concept on the block level. And Apart from finding pages, you can also do parentheses and find blocks. So let's say I want to find all my blocks. So all my paragraphs that mention the word consciousness, this is so great. So, cause remember in all these other tools like Evernote and so forth, the searching was always such a mess. It was so frustrating, but here you just type these parentheses. And you get all the mentions of this word on the block level, right? So not, oh, this word is mentioned in this page of yours, but we're not going to tell you where it is. And you're going to have to do control F to find it. Uh, and then when you find a block, of course, then you can maybe start doing the whole roaming thing. So let's say I have this block, I'm going to jump to block. And now this gets me on pages. Steven Pinker is mentioned, Colin McKinn is mentioned is referenced somewhere else, which is on the daily notes page, the one that I just created, of course. And then it's so easy to roam because, so this is on another page. This is a definition of consciousness. It's about what it's likeness. Other things are mentioned. I can even see, ah, in I come to me, this claim about what it's likeness uh, supports the claim that we did not yet know how physiological interactions ground mental experiences. So this is another cool thing that you can integrate in Rome. So let me just quickly show you that. So I have this question page of about misinformation. So let's say I, I have this claim that I'm, that I think is true and you can identify supported by relationships, pieces of evidence, and you can let Rome automatically query that. So this is amazing. 
you can have a claim and then you can formulate your graph, your database in such a way that it's automatically going to recognize these relationships between this claim and pieces of evidence and that are supporting it, claim that are explaining it, questions that it's informing, claim that are opposed to it. So this just makes the whole knowledge management thing so much easier. Just to sum up the things that I think make Rome great. So there's the bullet organization with the indenting. And of course, uh, you can do all the formatting that you want. Uh, you can do highlight and so on. Haven't even talked about that, but of course that's included. That's a great writing tool. Blocks as their own unit, which you can refer to like that. You can do the block ref and then you'll have the little one here. You can go into a block to write here to make it very organized. There is bi-directional linking as already this kind of show. So now I'm linking this block to this block and there will be the one here. It's so easy and fun to roam your graph with interlinked pages, interlinked blocks. That's so much better than graveyard of subfolders because now notes will be in your web of thoughts. You'll come across it as you roam your graph. You're constantly linking your new notes that you're taking to older notes. And over time, you're going to get this really complex web of ideas which you can visualize in the graph overview that I just clicked on. But mine looks like this because it's so amazingly big. It's uh, going to take you a bit of effort to navigate through it. But uh, the idea is that Rome's just a huge mind map. It's an online workspace for organizing and evaluating knowledge. It describes itself as a tool for thought. And the essential thing here is that each node becomes a node in this network and there's no central concept you have to start with. The key innovation in Rome lies in how the bullets and the concept and your pages links together with each unit of information becoming a, a piece in a dynamic network of thoughts. Any given node can occupy multiple positions simultaneously, convey information through defined relationships as we saw with this. So it's just a giant knowledge web representing your notes and your connections between them. And all the linking between nodes and pages really allows you to seemingly navigate your whole graph and all your ideas without having to be like, oh, what folder is that in? How does that work? And so on. And that's really what makes Rome so great. It's just so powerful to have that opportunity. Rome has a small but dedicated user base who will tell you that it is the best note-taking app out there. And I hope to have given you a sense of why that is. It's no surprise that despite being a niche knowledge management tool, it, it got in third in the Enterprise Stack 30 of 2021. So it's just fantastic for writing, learning, note-taking, connecting, journaling, it's the all in one tool for knowledge work. But as we've probably also gathered from this demo, there is a bit of a learning curve and it can take you a while to get the most out of Rome. That is true, which is why there is a Rome course by an official Rome coach. Yours truly about academic mastery with Rome. If you want to really upgrade your entire knowledge management workflow, become a Rome power user, remember everything you read, discover new insights and produce your best work by not missing out on this next generation of knowledge management tools, please sign up for the course and Romans open now more information below the video. I hope to see you there.